game, stepped over up to the mile very well today. She's won very nicely under Elder de Mayer, and well done to our winning crew, Mayanda. There we go. There's your winning check from Hollywood Bets and Kate Racing. Well done to you. He looks like he's got a very nice filly on his hands here in the form of gold poker game. Uh, Aldo is with me now. Aldo, um, as I just said, she stepped up to the bar today. You actually haven't ridden her in a race before, but uh, that's pretty impressive, and she's a smashing-looking filly. Yeah, not bad fee. Gives you nothing at home. I suppose these gold standards, they don't show a lot in the sand. They come here, they just transform, develop a couple of gears, and it's quite pleasant to have. And I suppose she just uh, relished a little bit extra today, going the mile. She was drawn well. Things went to plan. Yeah, like, I, like you see, I, I've never sat on her in a race, but everything about her at home suggests that she'll appreciate the mile and further. And just before, it, before the race, MJ asked me how I th thought she'd go, and uh, I said, I think she's going to run a big race. So hopefully the, the public followed, and uh, yeah, I would have paid due dividends because uh, she looks like she's progressing. Mile was up early, they went a fraction slow for her, but I decided to pull out the 500 and just allow her to stride. She took a couple of strides to get into gear, but once she, she put it together, she really started becoming fluent and uh, she hit the line running. Oh, smashing looking filly, and she looks to have a, a nice easy way about her, pretty uh, good temperament. Yeah, these gold standards, like I say, uh, they, they've really surprised me. They, they don't do a thing wrong other than just doing what they need to do, and they come to the course and they put their best foot forward, and as a professional, it's just... Uh, a really pleasure to pleasure, pleasure to work with and um, hopefully that seems to be a trend and hopefully they can continue doing so. Yeah, well she's stepping up nicely. I'm sure Candice will have her eye on something nice for her. Yeah, definitely. I'll leave that to Candice and Kevin. They normally put their heads together and decide which way to go. So to, to you, Miss Rupert, everyone involved, a uh, very big, uh, big well done and thank you for having me aboard, Drakenstein. Thanks so much and I just want to dedicate this one to my, my second eldest, uh, Callum Little Blue Bear is actually his nickname. and. Uh, Dawn in the colour, so I hope he's watching and I hope he's enjoying his birthday and I'll see him oh, soon. Oh, lovely. Well done. Thank Happy you. birthday to him and very, very well done. Coming through is Candice Bass Robinson winning trainer. Candice, I think uh, you'll be delighted with this win, won't you? She's a smashing looking filly. Aldra says she shows very little at home and she's quite laid back, but stepped up to the mile and done it with ease. Yeah, she's, she's a big, long filly. Uh, she's a big, scopey filly and she's obviously, you know, got a long way to go before she strengthens up. Properly, and I know I heard you saying to Elder that I uh, would have my eyes a little feature with her. I think Kevin's training my eye towards the PEO. <laughs> I think that's his main mission with her. So, yeah, she's um, she doesn't show a lot at home, but but on the grass, and, and I've got two gold standards at home, and the other one, Golden Hostess, is much the same. They don't show huge amounts in the sand at home, but both of them, you know, on the grass itself, they've got a good turn of foot, and uh, I mean, she's done nothing wrong up until now. She basically won her second start, and you know, she ran a good race out the maidens, and uh, it was a nice follow up win today. Um, yeah, she's been coughing a little bit in the week, and I was a little bit concerned about that today, but I thought oh, I'll take my chances and run anyway because she's, she's quite well and, and, and she's doing well enough to, to get by with that. So a super win from her today, and uh, she kind of filly I think that will definitely go 2,000 metres, so I think she's, she'll have a bright future ahead of her. Yeah, lovely filly, not out of the money so far, so uh, certainly a nice one to have in the yard. Yeah, thank you very much, and well done to Drakenstein, to Gaino and Kevin and the team. Uh, they always breed such lovely fillies, and uh, yeah, may it continue. Well done. Thank you. you. A nice winner for your mum as well. <laughs> Coming through is Kevin Somerville. Kevin, you must be delighted with that. She, as I just said to Candice, she's done nothing thr um, wrong throughout her career so far. Always been earning and uh, a lovely filly and something to look forward to. Go a bit further. Yeah, very much so. I know. I think um, you know any of these sort of handicaps uh, for three-year-old fillies is always tough, um, and uh, and she just seems to be progressing in, in the right way. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what sort of step we take with her going forward, but. Um, you know, whether we drop her into the deep end, um, I think she probably deserves a chance at, at, at a race like the Phillies Guineas, or, or maybe maybe we wait and be patient, and there's a couple of other nice races that uh, Cape Racing are putting on. So, uh, obviously, congratulations to Gaynor. It's a wonderful result, and it's nice to have a winner for, for Carol on her birthday. So, um, congratulations to her as well. Yeah, no, it's great. Well, hopefully you can line something up nice for this filly. She's obviously loved the mile today, and as Candice said, she'll go a little bit further. And uh, just everything about her, she's got a lovely way about her, and she looks uh, uncomplicated. Yeah, very much so, and I think that's that, that would be a typical of the gold standards. I think that they, um, they do take maybe perhaps a little bit more time than, than some of the trippies, but uh, I think they're coming good now, and I think her golden hostess on, on Saturday was incredibly unlucky. Um, she's seen gold for a run twice, so I, I think that they're, they're two very, very nice fillies and, you know, he, he hasn't got a lot of support from breeders, but, uh, but I think he's doing a wonderful job, so 
be nice to see some uh, some more support by by the end of the season. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well done to you and all the team, and well done to Gaynor. Thank you, Fee. Thank well you. Well done, Kevin. Well done to all the connections. The number three gold poker game, uh, a win for Drakenstein Stad Gaynor Rupert, and of course bred by Drakenstein Stad Gaynor Rupert. Well done to winning rider Elder de Mayer and trainer Candice Bass Robinson. Our winner of race four is gold poker game number three on the card as we head back to the parade rooms with MJ.